Hey guys, so I'm gonna teach Tucker a few simple tricks today that you can do with your own horse. But before we get started, I just wanna thank everyone who has subscribed to our channel. We just hit 500 subscribers, which is awesome. So thank you so much. Thank you for watching and I hope that we can continue to put out content that you will enjoy. All right, so the materials you're gonna need today to teach your horse simple tricks is a lunge whip. Um, I always recommend a rope halter just because it communicates pressure better. And then some treats. Who knows the treats are in this pocket. Okay, so the first trick I'm gonna teach Tucker is how to bow. And so what I'm gonna do, I have some treats in my pocket that he definitely knows about. I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna stand back here, and I'm just gonna encourage him. Oh, you wanna, oh, good boy. Oh, that was so good. Try it again. Can you get it? Stretch. Good boy. <laughs> okay, so to teach your horse to bow, what you're gonna do is take your treat. And at first I'm gonna just encourage him to bring his head down to his chest. Good. And then I'll put my arm behind his leg and just keep beckoning him back. Come on, good boy. And there you go. So the next trick I'm gonna teach Tucker is how to kiss. Okay, so Tucker kinda of already knows this trick. So I should just be able to say, uh-uh. Tucker, kiss. 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 Thank you. <laughs> so to teach Tucker to kiss, I'm gonna take my treat. I'm gonna get his attention. I'm gonna say my word kiss so he correlates that with what he's supposed to be doing. Tucker, kiss. Kiss. Thank you. So the next trick I'm gonna teach Tucker is how to subscribe to the Equine Helper YouTube channel. So you're gonna take out your phone and you're going to find Equine Helper on YouTube, as you can see. I'm gonna open it up so he can subscribe. And go ahead. Good boy. <laughs> and that's how you subscribe to our YouTube channel. So now that you've taught your horse to kiss, it's time to teach them how to hug. So to teach Tucker how to hug, I'm gonna stand facing out to begin with and I have my treat, so I'm gonna use my phrase hug so he can correlate that with the movement. And I'm just gonna have him stretch his head across me as if he were hugging me. So Tucker, hug, hug, you want this? Come on, come on. Hug, hug, good boy, good boy. Okay, so once he has that down, now I can actually hug him and say my command and encourage him to stretch behind. Hug, 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 come on, hug, good boy. And after we do that enough, sooner or later, he will know that hug means to wrap his head around as he has been doing. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So now that we've reviewed some very basic horse tricks, we're gonna start going over ones that are a little bit more challenging, but will overall help you in teaching your horse more advanced tricks. So this trick is gonna be teaching Tucker how to paw. This is a great trick to teach your horse because this is basically the foundation of getting your horse to do the Spanish walk. So once your horse knows how to do this, it can lead into some much better and greater tricks. So when it comes to teaching these more advanced tricks to horses, every horse is different, so you may teach them differently. You may just have to see how the horse responds and what they respond to to get them to do these tricks. So with Tucker, I realized that when I would get him to bow, he would be much more apt to paw. So I started to think, well, if I'm gonna get him to paw, the first thing I need him to do is to round his head to his chest and bring his head down as if he were going to bow. So if I had a treat with me, see, he already knows what I'm gonna ask, no. <laughs> so the first thing I do with him is get him to round his neck. And I know once he does that, he'll be able to paw much easier. So tapping his chest is gonna ask him to round his head. And then once he does that, I'm gonna tap on his upper leg which is gonna ask him to paw. So tap the chest, okay? Now I'm gonna tap his leg. Come on, good boy. Here. No, good. So that's where I begin. So I get him to start going into that bow and then I ask him to pick up his leg. If your horse isn't like Tucker who naturally does this, what I would do is take my crop, I would give them the cue by tapping his leg and he's gonna obviously pick up his leg but if he weren't, what I would do is when I tap, I would pick up his leg and stretch it forward so he knows that's what I'm asking. 
and then I would keep doing that until he made the slightest movement. So in the beginning, when you tap the leg, he may only pick it up. If that's what he does, reward him and let him know that that's good. And as you progress, eventually your horse will get to the point where they're going to paw. So it's just important to remain consistent and keep asking for what you want. So when the horse picks up the leg, you ask them to stretch it forward, even if you have to grab it and ask them. Good boy. This hook. This one. Good boy. Good. Good. Okay, so the next trick I'm going to show you guys is how to get your horse to pick up their feet on command. If you have goals in the future to teach your horse how to lay down or pee off or do any other tricks that requires them to move their feet, this is where you're going to want to start. This trick is a great thing to teach your horse just because it gives you more control of their movement and their feet and what they do with their feet. So to teach my horse to pick up their feet, what I'm going to do is start by tapping my crop on their lower leg and it's important when you do this that you don't use the same spot that you cue them to paw. So if you see Tucker, I touch on his foreleg and he wants to paw. So I'm not going to tap him here because that's just going to confuse him and what I'm asking him to do. So I'm going to get my cue at the bottom of their hooves. Okay, so to start out, what I would do, and you know, Tucker knows how to do this so he may react anyway. I would tap their lower leg to let him know the cue and then I'd pick up their feet so that they understand that's what I'm asking. So this is a great thing to do every day. If you're picking at your horse's hooves, you can start giving this cue so they start to understand that this is what that means. Come on. And give this cue to all four feet. And then even if you just do this every day, picking out their hooves before you ride, sooner or later they're gonna know that that's what they're supposed to do. And there you have it. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So it's important when you're teaching your horse to pick up their feet, when you tap their bottom leg, you just want to do a light tap and as soon as they even shift their weight in the beginning, you can stop tapping. And that release of pressure is going to let them know that that's the right response that you want. So if I tap, okay, he picked up his foot so I'm immediately going to stop tapping. So ideally I don't even have to tap the horse's leg for them to pick it up. My ultimate goal with this trick is for me to just be able to point to the leg or tap the ground beside the foot and the horse will move their leg. So here I'm just going to tap the ground beside the foot and you see he picks up his foot. Good boy! Good boy! Every time I come out here there's at least one cat that comes out and follows us and has to torment us by chasing the crop. So one thing I'll tell you guys is when I'm working on a little bit more complicated tricks with my horses, it's important to give them like a release from the thinking for a minute. The thing is if you are just concentrating on one thing that requires a lot from your horse mentally and physically, it can be frustrating for them and stressful. So once I do this a few times and get them to pick up their feet a few times, what I'm going to do is I will let him just walk. And allowing him to walk like this, it's just allowing him to have a break and think about something else for a minute and let him know that he's doing good. If you do math for a very long time, eventually your brain starts to hurt and you get really frustrated and mad. Well, kind of the same thing for horses. This is like math to them probably. <laughs> so our last trick that I'm going to talk about is getting your horse to come to you. So we've done quite a few videos about this. We just covered it in our Liberty training video so I'll put the link in the description for that. And we also have an older video about this and so it's something we've talked about a lot. Being able to get your horse to come to you will number one not only save you from having to walk super far out in the field to get your horse because no one likes to do that. <laughs> But it's also basically one of the foundation steps for Liberty training. Just being able to get your horse to come back to you when you need them. To teach them this, I always start out in the round pen. I just start in the round pen lunging them off the lead line because this is a great way for your horse to start learning how to read your body language and how they should move accordingly. And so that's a great place to start and in this footage you'll just see that to get Tucker to come to me what I do is I get him to stop first and then by step, taking a step back, that invites him in towards me. So that's basically where getting your horse to come to you starts. So from there, once they have my horse coming into me in the round pen, I can start incorporating a sound or a movement that encourages them to come in. So Tucker pretty much knows if I call his name that he needs to come to me. 
And I just started that simply by, in the round pen when I'd ask him to come in, I'd just call his name, Tucker. And so he's learned that that means to come. So once I have this down in the round pen, what I'll start doing next is just stepping away from, from my horse and I will call them over to me and just have them come. And I'm gonna start out with a very short distance, maybe just a few steps and just getting even just one step or a head turn in my direction. And then from there, as they start to understand the concept, then I'll start to create a bigger distance. I'll get to the point where my horse can be across the ring from me and I'll call them and they'll come running. And so that's just a great trick to know and it's pretty simple to teach them. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Once again, remember to subscribe to our channel and like this video. And if you're looking for another training tutorial to watch with your horse, check out our Liberty Training video that's in the description below.